Hello, Bronco Nation. I'm Ty Hawkins, joined by Brandon Walton, and this is Rapid Fire, where we talk a little bit about what's going on with Boise State football. The Broncos are coming off a 37-27 victory over the Fresno State Bulldogs, in which they reclaimed the Milk Can Trophy and moved into first place with the 5-2 record in the Mountain West Conference. B, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Ty. How about you, man? I'm good. Thanks for being here. Last week, we talked a little bit about Jay Ajayi and his load. Another big game for him, 30 carries, buck 58, couple of tubs. Is this too much, or are we all on board? The J train is rolling. All right. I mean, uh, you know, 30 carries is a little bit too much, at least in my personal take. I like to see Jeremy McNichols get more involved in the running game, maybe take a little bit of the load off Jay Ajayi. Nice little introduction right there to McNichols. How about some of the other pleasant surprises offensively Coach Harson and staff saw this week? Yeah, you had Shane Williams road. He caught a big touchdown pass uh -huh. in that game. Troy Ware had a good game as well. The big surprise, though, I think is Thomas Spurbeck. Okay. He actually threw the game-winning touchdown pass to quarterback Grant Hedrick, so a big performance for him. Bringing back a little bit of that magic on the blue, huh? So defensively, kind of got gashed by Fresno State on the ground. Gave up 27 points, but they stepped up when they needed it most. Are there any concerns on that side of the football for Coach Yates? I don't think so. I mean, this is a rivalry game, so you're going to have kind of these close games. Boise State did give up a couple of big plays, as you mentioned, but Boise State really stepped up in the fourth quarter when they had to. Dante Dion sealed it with a late game interception. This defense is rolling. I expect them to continue rolling throughout the season. Big game this week against BYU. BYU started off the season 4-0 with Dark Horse candidate, Heisman candidate, Taysom Hill. However, they've dropped their last three, lost to Nevada last week, a team we saw the Broncos beat a few weeks ago. Any concerns? How hungry is this BYU team going to be trying to beat their northern rival? Yeah, BYU is going to be really hungry. I mean, they beat us last year at their uh -huh. place, so I expect them to come into this place and give us a really good showing. It's unfortunate that Taysom Hill's not going to be in this game. I was looking forward to personally seeing him on the blue, but expect this to be a really competitive game. Be well, my man. Kill it again. You too, Ty. That's all we got for today, folks. We will see you this week on the blue, and we'd like to thank University Television Productions. Help us put this together. Go Broncos!